Well, happy Tuesday, folks. Let's pick up right where I left off at before that commercial break. A low temperature record for tomorrow morning is in jeopardy. This is for Fargo. So December 29th, that's tomorrow. The record low temperature, 22 degrees. That was set back in 1990. My forecast overnight is 23 degrees below zero. So yes, that low temperature record is nervous going into the overnight. And of course, we we'll have to see exactly time will tell how cold we get. But I'm saying there's a chance that we could have a new low temperature record by the time we get to lunchtime tomorrow. Wind chill warning in effect for our North Dakota counties. That includes the I-29 corridor all the way down from the Canadian border all the way down into South Dakota and does include those counties across on the Minnesota side of the Red River as well. Wind chill advisory in effect for our northern Minnesota counties. So we're expecting the worst of those wind chills, that 40 to 50 degrees below zero to be in those pink shaded counties. But still no picnic across into Minnesota either. Still have a winter storm warning ongoing for the next couple of hours for northern Beltrami County and into the arrowhead of Minnesota for some snowfall and still some tough travel conditions in those areas. Here are those temperatures though. Uh, you can see 21 below in Grand Forks, 18 below in Fargo, 22 below in Oaks, a couple of the coldest spots. Notice that black line you see here. That's the zero degree line. That's been slowly but surely pushing its way eastward as that snow system exits off toward the north and east. So we'll start to see that bitter cold air moving up toward Bedead. Be Bemidji and also into Roseau here in the not too distant future. Here's those wind chills. This is a regional look. Some of the coldest wind chills in the state are in our viewing area. 41 below in Grand Forks looks to be the coldest wind chill. 40 below in Langdon. Those are areas where you see those black colors, that's that 40 to 50 degrees below zero for wind chills. So flat out dangerous across the region, no matter where you go. Make sure to have those uh, ears bundled up, those uh, those hands bundled up. Take all those winter weather precautions because if you're driving anywhere and your car breaks down, that's trouble. So make sure you have the, your emergency kit ready to go, not just tonight, but also for the next five days because though that snowfall is exiting, not seeing much indication of more snowfall, that Arctic air is going to be dangerous for us for the next five days. So there you can see those clouds and snow showers exiting off toward the north and east. Quiet conditions moving in, but with clear skies, a light wind, a fresh snow. Those are all the ingredients we're looking for for bitter cold temperatures overnight. So here's midnight tonight. You see those temperatures 15 to 20 below for most of us, but there's those wind chills 40 to 50 degrees below zero already by midnight and then that cold continues through the overnight. Of course, the deepest part of the overnight where we're expecting those negative teens to negative 20s by the time we get to say 6 or 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Again, wind chills still dangerous and those dangerous wind chills continue even toward lunchtime. When we see those pink numbers, other wind chill values, we can see 30 to 40 degrees below zero up toward the north, 20 to 5 degrees below zero that wind chill in Fargo at lunchtime, seeing some clouds off toward the south. So we'll say a mix of sun and clouds for that lunchtime hour on our Wednesday, maybe a few passing clouds up toward the north as well. But air temperatures for the high highs only looking at negative single digits, maybe only negative double digits for high temperatures on your Wednesday up in the northern valley. We see, of course, cold air sticks around and continues through the Wednesday evening hours. And of course, that's the stage for another bitter cold morning on Thursday. Look at this, our photo of the day, pretty cool use that in quotations because it's flat out cold out there take a look at that the sun dogs and that fresh snowfall all piled up in this neighborhood here so thanks lance for sharing this uh cool or should i say cold photo with us to our website valleynewslive.com quite a lot to talk about here on the seven day planner so we'll start with the next three days first alert weather days all three days this up until New Year's Eve. We have high temperatures, only negative single digits for us in Fargo, but look at the morning temperatures. 15 below that morning temperature Thursday, 19 below on Friday. Arctic and dangerous when you factor in those winds and the wind chills for the next three days. Could be some light snowfall on Thursday, but ice crystals possible both Wednesday and Friday with it being just so cold out there. Here's New Year's Day, Saturday, January 1st. Morning low temperature looks to be the coldest we're seeing, near negative 30 for us in Fargo. High temperatures in Fargo, negative double digits. So again, Arctic ice crystals possible on Saturday as well. Good news is we have the first alert weather day for Sunday, but that's mainly for bitter cold early in the morning. Just in Stacy, we do see temperatures warming nicely into those positive single digits by Monday, some double <laughs> digits by Tuesday. I'm coming from northern Wisconsin, so I am used to cold, but I, I may not have timed this exactly right for yeah. the time yeah. to get into for town. The, for the brand new to Fargo, it's going to be a nice welcome. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a nice, welcome. Extreme. <laughs> nice slap in the face for All you. Right. Thank you, Nathan. You, you know, shipping delays, of course, are pretty common around the holidays, but still to come on Valley News Live at 10, we'll show you how one letter helped connect new friends nearly 70 years after it was first mailed.